My name is Karina Lam, um, known as Lam Gayan. Um, I'm, what, what do I do? What do I do? I'm an actress. <laughs> I'm a mother. Uh, I make pots now. Yes. <laughs> and I've been living in Hong Kong this year. It's just a full 20 years. I came to Hong Kong for an audition for my debut film um, called July Rhapsody, directed by Anne Ho. And um, my co-stars were Jackie Chung and also Anita Mui. So I basically came, because um, I did the audition, I got the role, and I came with two luggages of clothes and $1,000 Hong Kong dollars. That was all I had when I came. And, and I'm still around. <laughs> yeah. For me, I, I just feel like all mediums, all sorts of mediums of arts, I mean, it, they're like poems from another world. Um, I think through, through um, different mediums of arts, it's like um, you have a, a much more deeper and a much more um, percepting, a perceptive um, way of um, uh, learning more about yourself and also to react have your own reactions towards the artworks. Now I make pots and I think now, especially in this digital era, I think just the physicality of physically making something um, plays a very big, um, plays a very um, importance for me because um, through it, it's like I go through this ritual every day, I sit down with a lump of, lumps of clays and I'm just, you know, finding my elements and I'm kind of, it's very zen-like, it's very, meditative and I see a lot of my own flaws so it's it's you know it's a roller coaster I, I feel that as an artist it's really important to go through this to see all your your strengths your weaknesses to learn to really it's a very humbling experience for me yeah mm -hmm. you see it as like I, I cross borders of different mediums of arts but for me it's all one thing it's um, you know, I noticed in the past year of just, um, you know, uh, being really obsessed with clay and then going back to acting. I did a film last year in Taiwan and it's amazing because through the sense of touch, it's really enhanced my overall experience as an actress. I remember I played the scene last year um, in this film and I was quarreling with my husband and, and I just touched him on the shoulder. I, I can actually, I can feel like we're connecting. I was touching him and, and the subtext was, please hold me. I really need you to hold me. And just through the sense of touch, because, you know, the strange thing about clay, it's, it's really made me learn more about my five senses. It's strange. You feel like you use your hands so often every day on a day-to-day -day basis, but through working with clay, it's like you go to the places, it just seeps into places that's untouched and, and you're like relearning about your senses. And so I'm really fascinated by that. You know, I'm too, I'm very extreme with two, you know, like I feel with the digital platform, you're, there's so much more possibilities um, being able to reach out with artists that you really want to collaborate with. Like you could just easily on IG just private message them, hey, do you want to collaborate? And they can just see your IG and see what you've done. It's like, and so basically it's connecting the world. It's much closer, much um, efficient, and it's much direct. But on, in another terms, because you know, in the past year, I know I noticed that there's a lot of exhibition, a lot of master classes done on digital platform where you can have like a virtual reality tour or AR or um, you know even on YouTube. And for me, I I'm still that part of me, the experience of actually going through the museum, through the exhibition. It I need to physically do it. I feel that um, it really. You know, it really opens my, my my memories, my my you know the smell of the museum to actually physically see the artwork, you know, at my own preference, the distance and you know and all the details and doing it through the camera, it just it's just a bit different. It really takes away part, a lot of the experiences. I think it's really important is um, to find truth, um, you know, to really reconnect with yourself and really because there's just too much information out there too much visual stimulation too much too too you know it's too crazy it's too loud and i always feel that 
um, you know, you really have to reconnect with yourself and um, you really have to be very honest with yourself in order to do really honest work. And it's, you know, um, otherwise it's just another loud work for me. I've been very fortunate and it's been such an honor being um, the ambassador for La French May for my eighth year. Being the ambassador of uh, La French May, I have many things to do. I do translations, <laughs> I love asking questions, um, the experiences, I love to share with the audience in Hong Kong and to promote French arts and um, I just feel that, you know, in Hong Kong because we're so fast paced, everyone's always you know, gazillion things to do. And I always feel that they're like, oh, you know, you know, it's, you know, they said one sec, like I have to work, I have to sustain a living. So arts is something that's so, so, you know, far and beyond. And I always feel, no, I mean, arts is really, it's all, of, it's in our daily life, you know, how you make your coffee, how you gaze deeply into someone you love, um, that's, an art of living um, and so I said how you you know decorate your apartment that's also art so it's not that far from us and so I always believe that um, promoting our, uh, French arts in Hong Kong is is very essential this year I know there's one uh, really really key program that um, I hope for everyone to take part in is the Surrealists at the Hong Kong Museum of Arts and I believe that there's 119 or 114 artworks um, coming from Pompidou. Uh, so that's, that's really um, worth checking out. Um, you can travel in your mind <laughs> at the Hong Kong Museum of Art. Um, so it, that'll be a very exciting one. Another one is the Jazz and Cinema series. Um, seeing the different, um, the jazz influences with French cinema. I know one that I really love, which is Louis Mal um, and Miles Davis. That's one of my, that's one of my um, favorite films. Well, you know, Hong Kong is a very vibrant city. There's always something to see, something to do, and some art to buy, <laughs> you know, so it's very active. You know, in the public's eye, they know that I promote French arts. So they're like, of course, because, you know, that's very bourgeois. But for me, I, I feel, you know, if you, you, just, you just look, you look around the city and you see bus stops like in Stanley and you see people that if they don't want their chair they bring it to the bus stops because there's no benches in the bus stops so they put different each maybe you know eight household they don't they have a chair they don't want but you can't throw in the garbage um, it's too big so they move it to the bus stops and then you see all these different levels different um, textures of chairs just at the bus stops and for me, that's art. Um, so I always feel um, with arts, it really brings our awareness to a different level. And also, you know, even from a day-to-day -day basis, then you, you can feel, you, you feel beauty.